Hi, brother Reginald. Good to be with you, bro. Thank you. Thank you, brother Jesse. Nice to, to be with you. Brother Reginald's a good encouragement. He's a blessing. And uh, I'm going to ask him some questions. He's agreed to answer some questions, and this specifically to help uh, young Christians. So, brother Reginald, if someone said the Bible is not the Word of God, Muslims say the Bible's changed, atheists say the Bible's not the Word of God, how would you answer the Muslim and the atheist and encourage a young Christian to know the Bible's the Word of God? Well, first and foremost, um, the Holy Bible is the absolute truth of God's Word, God's bread, sent down to mankind, the word of God is the word is Jesus himself become flesh and uh, is the bread of life, is the truth that is the word of God and for anyone to to, to say that the Bible it's not the word of God, like the most the Muslim would say that uh, the word of God has been the Bible has been corrupted. Well, um, my response is those who are the enemies of of the God of the Holy Bible, whose son is the Lord Jesus Christ, normally. I uh, say the word of God is corrupted. So if you are saying that the word of God, the Bible is, has been corrupted, you might be an antichrist and uh, you are an enemy. Of, God uh, looks at you as his enemy. The Bible has not been corrupted. It is that the absolute word of God that has not been changed. Anyone who says that to you is a liar, is a thief, and he intends to discredit the word of God so that uh, you are cheated in believing the truth and then you end up in hell. That is my response for that. For the case of the atheist, well, um, an atheist uh, is defined, God has already defined the, an atheist to be uh, a fool. Mm, mm. A fool has said in his heart that there is no God. And the purpose of them saying that the Word of God, the Bible is not uh, the Word of God, is because they, they don't want to be accountable to a creator who created them because uh, we are created beings, we are free moral agents. God created us to be a free moral agent, to have the power or uh, to make decisions either right or wrong. And if you take a wrong decision in life is going to you are going to uh, be accountable for that and uh, if you made the right decision you will be happy but if you make the wrong decision therefore you will uh, you will not like the the result oh, and it oh. is the result that the 80s hates the bible and then say that it's not the word of god that is, and the Bible in the book of Psalm 14 verse 1 says, if the fool has said in his heart there is no God, they are uh, workers of iniquity, oh, evil oh. workers, and uh, they, 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 they try to, uh, to deny God. Yeah, yeah. That, is, that is my response. Wow, yeah. wow. So, what would you say to somebody who's been born again, they found out that we're saved by grace and they're just starting out in the Christian life. They're, they're a young Christian and they don't know anything. What advice would you give a young Christian just starting? Uh, well, uh, let me use myself for instance when I became born again I, uh, I came to, to, to know the Lord Jesus Christ as my Lord and personal Savior. And the first and foremost thing that uh, thrilled me is the Bible, the Holy, the Word of God. Because uh, if you are truly born again, born of the Holy Spirit, of uh, of water and spirit, the Word of God is a love letter. Let's say you have uh, 
you are cutting someone that you want to be married to and you want to read his the letter from him every morning every day you want to know what that person is saying to you therefore if you are born again the word of god is a love letter to you as his child and you will love to read it and if you read it I discovered, I started reading then, uh, for the new convert, I, I started with the Gospel of John, oh. you know, and uh, because it, it, it's, as I read it, it said in the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, the, God, the Word was God, all things was made by Him. Oh. So, and as I read this, very listen, I felt more and more in love with what I'm reading. I said, wow, I'm drops of tears I had to hold handkerchief because I don't want to wet my Bible because I was so I was so enamored by what I was finding out in the Word of God it filled me with tremendous joy and gladness and happiness that I knew where I go I go with my Bible my King James Holy Bible and uh, I bought, I, I mean, when I, be, I, 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 uh, when I became born again, in fact, my, it was my, my pocket money as a student, I had to go and use to buy that Bible. Mm. And I enjoy reading it. Mm. Morning, in the morning, after praying, I read, the, I read the Word of God because that is the food for my soul, my spirit. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it keeps me balanced for the day that I, I would, uh, you know, I would be myself and the Lord himself can speak to me through the word that I have read. He will remind me what I have read by the, in, the, in the morning. He can speak to me. So you need, as a, a new creature, the Bible said, desire the sincere milk of the word that you may grow thereby. You may not know much, but you start from the from the Gospel of John chapter one, mm. read it, and pray over it, and God Himself will open your eyes to be able to understand more and more. You fall in love with Jesus as you read the Holy His Word. Mm. You cannot fall in love with the Lord Himself. You cannot know the Lord Himself without loving his word and that is what i encourage you as a new creature in christ to do so you read finish john go to the next maybe the act of apostle and uh, you know you see the activity of the early disciple how they they evangelized they, you know how they were filled with the power of the holy spirit uh, when the holy spirit came uh, on the pentecost oh. and uh, they, 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 they were able to speak and share the word of god and three thousand souls so god, my in my own case i didn't know much about the word of god then but what i do when I tell people about Jesus because you want to tell people also about him if you are born again if you're a child of God you want you can't hide Jesus amen you amen. will not you won't hide it people will know they will notice your 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 composure your divine nature of Christ will be implanted in you that people you don't very really, they want to know what 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 has happened to you it is a radical change Amen. and that is what uh, uh, you tell people well i used to be this i can no longer do that again yes, yes because the bible says if any man is in christ he's a new creature behold all things have become new all old things have become have, have passed away behold all things are new yes, so yes. Uh, you would yes. you would love to tell your friends even when you try to hide it they will know they will <laughs> know and you can no longer go with them to have those things that uh, wouldn't bring glory to god uh, they, you you'll be like uh, you will not you will not you will not do that again because uh, you are a new creature so that is uh, what i and what about uh, 
What advice would you give? Is there any scripture that comes to mind concerning discernment? Is there any verse that comes to your mind? You know, in the last days, like yeah, the, uh, discernment uh, deception. Is, but yeah, in, the, if there's a, is there anything you could just share, just briefly about the importance of being discerning? That there's a lot of not like not not going into detail about the the issues, yeah. but uh, but just the importance of. And making sure, like you mentioned the King James Bible, the importance of reading a good Bible translation, the importance of keeping sound doctrine. Uh, it's much more become necessary as we are living in the end of the age. The Lord Jesus Christ, the first and foremost thing in the Olivet Discourse, he warned his disciple, he says, take heed that no one mislead you take heed that no one deceive you for many will come in my name saying that i am christ and if you are not discerning you will be deceived and uh, that is why you need to read and know the bible because someone can come and quote the bible to you and if you don't understand the Bible and the context in which he has quote that to you, and he wants to use that to twist it, because you can read a text with a pre-idea of what you want that text to say to you. We call that... Uh, when you read a text and take it out of context, yes, yes. that is a pretext. Yes. And when you take a text out of context in order to create a pretext, we call that uh, uh, it's an exegesis. There's a word for it, exegesis. And we, we, uh, we have to know it is one of the tools yes. of the false teachers who use who who twist scripture just like their masters the yes. satan yes. Yes. who yes. quoted to jesus christ trying to treat the lord the lord has to heal him because he is the word incarnate he has to beat him to a very this he say i i mean uh, you shall not tend the lord thy god you shall uh, that he asks him you fall down from the and then it is given to his angel to take charge of you and uh, what the Lord said to him, he said, you shall not tell the Lord, tempt the Lord thy God. So the, the, the most important thing, you need to immerse yourself in the word of God. And when someone is teaching you or says something to you, be a Berean. The Berean Christian was, were, they were called noble Christians. Because even no matter how mighty Paul is great in the word of God, they always check out what the Paul, Peter, James, and John has taught. They, uh, where do they go to? Rem let me remind you that then the Paul Bible was not yet complete. It is the Old Testament, the Tanakh, consisting of both for the 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 pentateuch of the from genesis to you know the five books of moses uh, to the to the judges uh, to the kings to the chronicles to the prophets this uh, this is where these bred christians referenced so and as a new born babe i encourage you that you need start from the new testament but you also need to set time aside to read the Old Testament because the root of the tree is hidden in the ground. The, the Old Testament is the root of the tree. Amen. So if you are not balanced, you need to read. You don't just be a New Testament reading the New Testament or the, 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 the complete Bible. Both from Genesis to Revelation, you should be able to do it. But begin from the beginning, it seems you're a new child, but as you grow more and more in the love of God, God will begin to show you how to acquaint yourself more Amen. from the very distance. So it's important because Christians who do not know their Bible, who, who neg neglect the Old Testament, mm. they will be 
they will go into apostasy. Yes, yes, yes. They will, they will apostasy, they will fall away. It is like the tree that uh, the root, you didn't know the root is, is exposed on the surface. Yes, yes, when the yes, flood yes. came, what happened? It would just, the flood would just uh, sweep it away. So you need to, you need to root yourself deep mm. and deep. The, the, the great oak tree, this mahogany tree is, the root is firmly deep and deep and deep to the so a place where even if there is no rain, they can get water from the rock. Mm. So you need that and the, the whole Bible, begin with the New Testament, but find yourself also going through the whole of the Bible from the Old Testament. By that you will not uh, fall away. Amen. That is my advice to Amen. you. Thank you, brother. All Thank right. you for your encouragement. God, God bless, bless you, brother. All right. God bless you. All right.